In very general terms, the vascular system is made up of arteries and veins. So the arteries are the most important component and they're what bring oxygen-rich blood from the heart and is distributed all throughout our body. Vascular disease is a systemic disease, meaning that if you have it in your heart, you have it all throughout your body. If you have it in your foot, you have it all throughout your body. It's never focal to one point in your body. So plaques can start building up in, in young children that are diabetic and maybe have poorly controlled diabetes or uh, bad eating habits and so forth. So plaque is there, plaque is unavoidable. Well, the main risk factors are age is one, uh, diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, or increased cholesterol. And then the number one risk factor was smoking. So we would categorize people with vascular disease uh, into two broad categories, either asymptomatic or symptomatic. So when you're asymptomatic, nothing needs to be done from an interventional standpoint. But you do need to, again, engage with your primary care physicians about being on appropriate medications, which means probably a statin. Of the symptomatic patients, we have clodicans, which is the vast majority of people that are symptomatic. And claudication just simply means that when they walk a certain distance, because of the restricted blood flow secondary to the plaques in the vessels, it creates pain and discomfort. I spend probably 80% of my time convincing people they don't need any kind of surgery, that it's just medical management and appropriate therapeutics like diet, stopping smoking, controlling their diabetes, and initiate a walking exercise program. They will dramatically decrease the likelihood of them ever requiring any kind of surgical intervention.